Right now, police are searching for the driver that hit and killed a woman riding her bicycle in Pinellas County. The crash happened early this morning in Tarpon Springs, and that's where Eight on Your Side Pinellas County reporter Christine McClarty is on the scene. Christine? The woman was riding her bike at the time that she was killed. It happened just here in front of the Forest, forest Ridge. This is Alternate 19 and Wood Dove Avenue. It was still dark at 5 a.m., and police are now looking for the community's help to shed light on who the driver was. A helicopter flying above Tarpon Springs Friday was searching for the car that hit and killed this woman riding her bike at 5 a.m., 59-year-old Terry Bruillard. I think it's a terrible tragedy to just be wake up in the morning and then the next thing you know is just sudden death. Harrison Frewster was headed to do Black Friday shopping when he saw police, a medical examiner, and this bike laying in the middle of the road. Police spent more than five hours collecting evidence. A witness to the crash tells police they followed the car after it struck Bruillard and didn't stop. I think that's very sad to hit somebody like that and not stop, you know, and maybe the person didn't have license or whatever, but that's still not an excuse. Police need your help finding the car involved. They say it's a light-colored, newer model, four-door Hyundai sedan with damage on the passenger side, including a damaged headlight and broken side-view mirror. I see this every day. I see, like, it's like a horror movie. Anthony Marsh of Dunedin says he's frustrated by the amount of crashes he's seen lately and says what makes this one worse is that it happened the morning after Thanksgiving. That makes it exponentially sadder. Uh, this girl's family, and she has one, obviously, are going to get a knock on the door by state troopers to tell them the bad news. If you know anything about the hit and run, call police. And we just spoke with some of Terry's former co-workers a few moments ago at the Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks, what her personality was like coming up at 5.